Throughout our history, mankind has sought out higher truths. As soon as he could stand and walk and think for himself, he began to question his origin and purpose on the planet. For centuries, man has sought out the truth. From the early Babylonian temples to the ancient Greek mystery schools to the secret Gnostic tribes, we have looked long and far to find the hidden wisdom that might give us the answers to our greatest puzzles. Since the beginning of time, man has searched for these higher truths, seeking to find the key to his very existence, asking questions that needed answers, looking for that secret map that might lead to a greater understanding of the mysteries of life. And to respond to man's call to truth, many have come forth to show the way. Great teachers and sages, wise men schooled in ancient and ageless wisdom, way-showers who took up the call to lead man to his highest destiny through truth and understanding. Many have had religions founded on their very being for just this reason, celebrating them for eternity. Others have worked secretly, committing entire lives to this higher work without any desire for acknowledgement or recognition. Still, there are others who made a commitment to such higher work in life and put themselves into the public eye. Oh, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here to talk to you about the existence of the Masters of the Brotherhood of the Great White Lodge. These ascended beings uh, have been called into question by many people in today's culture, uh, thinking that the Masters do not exist, that they are merely a figment of someone's imagination. Uh, fancy words written on paper. And I am here to say to you that this is not true. The Master's life in the physical world is quite real, and I'm going to read to you a bit from my book, The Master's in the Path. Charles Webster Leadbeater was such a man. Reverend, theosophist, writer, teacher, an extraordinary clairvoyant, he lived at a time when the world was writing its history and planning its future. The author of over 50 books on occult wisdom, Mr. Leadbeater dared to approach topics that were unpopular to his time. The modern world with its technology and futuristic living was just on the horizon. Charles W. Leadbeater was dedicated and committed to explaining the hidden side of nature, philosophy, religion, and science in a way that previously only the ancients had understood and appreciated. Along with his fellow colleagues, Helena Petrova Blavatsky, Colonel H.S. Olcott, Annie Bessett, and William Q. Judge, Charles Leadbeater was to give his entire life to the understanding of a world that had remained hidden from the common man for centuries. He dared to open the door to a world of such strange and extraordinary ideas and concepts, such as astral projection, dreams and their true meanings, the effect of music on the body, fairies, gnomes, and angels, the materialization of thought forms, the human aura and how to read it, and the hidden and invisible life around us. There has been great discussion at length about the rising of the Kundalini serpent power. Well, I'd like to say one thing about the premature Kundalini, which is that one very common effect of rousing it prematurely is that it rushes downwards into the body instead of upwards, and thus excites the most undesirable passions excites them, and then intensifies their effects to such a degree that it becomes impossible for man to resist them. He is as helpless as a swimmer before the jaws of a shark. 